Hi, so I'm Anya and I go to the Kennedy School and I'm 14 and I'm in the 8th grade and I work at Teen Empowerment, I work for the Library Leaders and Youth Matters Media and I also work um, for Heather at SCAT TV. My name is Rite Shada, I'm 14 years old, I go to East Somerville Community School and the organizations I work for are Somerville Media Center and um, I work as one of the Phoenix leaders at the Somerville with Teen Empowerment. So my name is Heather McCormick and I uh, got my Master's of Education from the Harvard Graduate School of Education studying prevention science and practice and in particular focusing on the middle school years, early adolescence. Hi, my name is Diha Ahmed. Um, I am 14 years old. I go to the Arthur D. Healy School. I work for Youth Matters Media and I also work with Heather for a paid internship. Sunbrook Media Center, I help out with the Makerspace Monday class. I also help out with the TV show, Sunbrook Overcoming Addiction. And I also work with a group that's trying to get uh, more funding for youth, uh, for opportunities for youth. YMM, we meet at SCAT TV and we, um, we make videos about topics that we care about. Um, a few examples are um, people's experiences in immigration, how social media can affect your mental health, and so on. Library leaders, we host events every month about, again, like topics that we face in the community, like gun violence, sexual harassment. For me, I was lucky enough to get this opportunity, come here and do something which I feel is productive and also helping, and I'm also enjoying. You know, young people kind of fall off track because if you're 13, 14, and you're too young to get a job, but um, you know your parents are working and you're not being supervised, you're too old for a you know a, a little kid summer camp, and you're too young to get a job. So in that in-between stage, it's kind of like, well, what do I do during the summer? And so I created this leader and training program to really pull those youth in and say, I'm going to give you something important to do uh, that really matters and I'm going to have you be a mentor to younger kids in the summer camp that you used to go to and I want you to lead activities and I want you to teach young people how to swim and I want you to you know, be engaged in this and what we, that young people at that age are really seeking out opportunities to matter, right? Um, they're kind of like figuring out what their place is in the world. The world can be really overwhelming and stressful. It's generally a time where they're less looking for their parents to tell them what to do and they're less focused on what teachers are telling them. They're really looking towards their peers to kind of figure out like where am I in the world and, and what are my skills and um, you know um, what can I do to make the world a better place or what, how am I gonna you know make my mark on my community. There are really rarely any opportunities for middle schoolers. I think high schoolers, they have more opportunities, definitely not enough, but a lot more than middle schoolers. Um, I think middle schoolers are looked upon as um, very childish and not capable of doing certain things that ninth graders would be able to do. So I think that we all kind of have the same, um, the same will and want to make something out of ourselves, whether you're in 8th grade or ninth grade. And I think that the label of the grade that you're in should define your abilities and your work. The programs we do have are amazing, you know, Teen Empowerment is great, Central Media Center, so opportunities are great, but there's just not enough. Um, you know, Teen Empowerment only has a handful of jobs available, and that's definitely not enough for everybody. So you have the lucky few who get in, and then you have everybody else who's stuck, you know. Um, I've learned how to operate a camera, operate a TriCaster, learned all the technical stuff, how to set up a shot, that kind of stuff, uh, which is great, because I really want to, um, I want to go into the film industry, but even beyond that, it's taught me, you know, how to work with people. It's really critically important during that time that we, um, as youth workers, as adults who care about um, supporting youth, really provide um, high quality opportunities for young people to be leaders in things that interest them and uh, that they have opportunities to explore those interests in like real hands-on tangible ways that don't treat them as little kids anymore because they're really not and they're looking for you know looking to be recognized um, as like full human beings that are capable of lots of things. 
I think we need to, um, you know, just give more funding to programs like Teen Empowerment so they can afford to, you know, give more jobs. They're also, we should definitely have some youth centers built because, well, we don't have any. So, hypothetically, if I were the mayor, um, I, I'm sure it's easier said than done, but I think I would um, invest a lot more money into um, into making new centers and job op um, job opportunities for the youth, and I think that doing this would really open people's eyes, lead them to a better future, better education, better colleges, better jobs, which leads them to financial stability. And um, I think that's like kind of everything someone wants. So I do think these programs are benefiting the community. It's because. Um, we have like all these great youth coming together, working on like great projects, like k events and making videos and bringing awareness to problems and trying to fix the community and make the community a better place for everyone. <laughs>